So today I was craving Chinese food. And so I decided that I would choose the healthy route and make it myself. So starting off with the grilled and ready Tyson's chicken breast. I'm going to make a sauce, an Asian and Chinese inspired sauce. So what I'll need is, the recipe calls for white sugar. Instead I'm going to use the Terminado cane sugar. It's kind of an organic um, raw sugar. I'm going to use the sriracha chili sauce. I'm, I already have my white rice in the cooker cooking. And I could have chose brown rice, either or. I'm going to use mixed vegetables for my fried rice. I'm also going to need this soy sauce. And of course, I chose the less sodium soy sauce. I also need rice wine vinegar, but I have the white wine vinegar. And I like to use olive oil instead of vegetable oil. And I have some cornstarch. So I'm going to go ahead and combine the ingredients and come back and let you guys see what the sauce looks like for the chicken. Then I'll allow you to watch me make the rice and then put it all together. So the rice is done and I'm going to go ahead and check it. Ooh, yummers. Ooh, yummers. So the lighting over here is very poor. But you can see what the rice looks like. So the recipe calls for day old rice because they said the making fried rice is best if it's a day old. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rice and I'm going to put it in the freezer or the refrigerator because I heard that cold rice does best when it hits the pan for fried rice. So what I'm going to do is put this rice in this Pyrex dish. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator or the fridge, I mean the freezer or the fridge, and I love my rice cooker because I love how my rice turns out. It's all fluffy. It's not full of starch. So I'm getting ready to throw this in the freezer and let it cool while I continue to make my sauce for my chicken. So what have I started by doing is I mixed a half a tablespoon of cornstarch with two tablespoons of water. I'm getting ready to add my soy sauce and you need about two tablespoons of soy sauce. So two tablespoons of soy and I also use the soy in the rice when I get ready to make it. Then I need the white rice, well white wine vinegar and you need about one to a half a t uh, teaspoon of this is I guess to your tasting so I'm going to use about a half a tablespoon of that then I need to use um, some sugar and some some of my chili sauce so I'm going to go ahead and get my sugar and it calls for two tablespoons of this well white sugar but I'm going to use a more healthier version of sugar and then I'm going to also add in my chili sauce. And once that is all done, I'll come back and let you guys see what the last two ingredients looks like as I mix them in. So I've started cooking my mixed vegetables with my onion and my minced garlic. It smells really good. What I do hate is the fact that I have corn in there. But just got to do what I got to work with what I have. So I pushed all my veggies to the side and added my egg as you can see and I'm going to scramble the egg, mix it with the vegetables, then add the rice. The chicken is in the oven. I'm getting ready to take it out and you'll see the final meal in a moment. So here's the finished product. I have my vegetable fried rice cooked in healthy olive oil with low sodium soy sauce and fresh vegetables well frozen and here's my Asian inspired chicken made with Tyson grilled and ready chicken breast strips and the sauce that I showed you at the beginning of the video if you would like a more detailed video 
of how I made this recipe or any other recipes to stay on track with your healthy weight loss. Comment, subscribe, and hit the like button. Thank you.